So today's project is a low power pulse width modification driver. It consumes about 120 milliwatts altogether, uh, at, and that's about 10 milliamps at 12 volts. So the frequency I've got is 20 to 50 kilohertz, and here are the features that um, and chips that I've used, kind of written down there. And we'll move on to the actual circuit itself. <clears throat> uh, get a overview here. The uh, the way it works, you have a range of input voltages you can have. Um, that comes in, it's converted down to 5 volts for the oscillator, and then that goes into an RC filter that provides a ramp for the comparator, and then you set the, the duty cycle with this potentiometer. Um, the frequency over here is set with a potentiometer as well. Um, this could also be provided by a microcontroller, it's just a voltage to compare this voltage to. You then have a pulse width modification output, which is a rectangular wave. Um, very important are, is this capacitor to prevent oscillation and also this capacitor. And they are both one nanofarad. And then the main voltage comes in, powers the MOSFET driver. <clears throat> uh, you could also regulate that voltage if you wanted to, but I have not. So here are some notes. Um, mainly number three, LTC 6900, the R set is a 43k ohm with a 100 100k ohm potentiometer. And that provides everything I need um, frequency wise. So I've got it set to 33 kilohertz. And here is the <clears throat> here's the adjustment of the duty. And that's done with the comparator potentiometer. But there are no oscillations going on. Uh, this is the output of the uh, MOSFET driver. I'm going to go ahead and set it to about you know 25 percent, and come over and look at the other voltages on here. So we'll take it off of the MOSFET output and put it on to the comparator output. Comparator output looks like this. So the MOSFET driver has an input threshold of 2.6 volts. So as soon as it hits that, it, it'll go high. And that's the output of the comparator. And then the comparator voltage itself um, or out of the RC filter you can go in and actually just hook onto that, onto that capacitor, and look at the waveform of the ramp voltage that's, that's going into the comparator. So there it is. As we change the freak, I'm going to go ahead and change the duty cycle. No. Um, change the frequency. It changes the ramp because it's an RC filter. So because that's changing, you're having to change the comparator um, potentiometer. That's at a lower frequency. So, pretty good ramp. When you use the lower part of the ramp waveform or of a RC waveform, it's fairly linear, and it's just but it's a smaller amplitude. That's one of the advantages of using the lower part of the waveform. All right, I think I've shown everything I need to show. Um, hopefully, this is enough for anyone that wants to build it and modify it. It's pretty straightforward and works pretty well. Thank you.